the standard inequality question. Suppose x, y, z are non-negative and the sum is equal to 1. We are asked to find the maximum value of this expression. The given expression looks symmetrical and intuitively think that the maximum value will occur when x equals y equals z. Interestingly, for this question, this is not the case. First of all, we consider a simple case. Suppose A and B are non-negative such that the sum is equal to 1. Then, what will happen to a square b square. A square b square equals to a b square. And from a m gym inequality, a b will be less than or equal to a plus b over 2 square. With the square, it becomes a power of 4. And we already know that the sum of a and b equals 1, and therefore this is 1 over 2 power 4, that is 1 over 16. Equality holds if and only if A equals to B equals to half. This is a case where we have only two terms. Now we move to our original question where we have three terms, X, Y, and Z. Suppose we let X is greatest and Y is smallest. Now, if z is equal to 0, if z is equal to 0, then whatever that we have called this is j, let's say this is j, this j will be just equal to x squared y squared. And the sum of x and y will be equal to 1. From what we have, this will be less than equal to 1 over 16. Okay, so from here we know that if z is equal to 0, j is not more than 1 over 16. It means that the maximum of j is at least 1 over 16. What happens for x equals to y equals to z equals to 1 over 3? In this case, j will be equal to 3 times 1 over 3 square, 1 over 3 square. That will be equal to 1 over 27. And 1 over 27 is obviously less than 1 over 16. It means that the maximum of j does not occur if x equals y equals to z. Now we should show that uh, 1 over 16 indeed is the maximum value. So I have to erase this to save some space. So in this case, we suppose that x is greatest, then z is the smallest. And therefore, x squared will be greater than or equal to y times z. Not only this, uh, 2x squared must be greater than or equal to y and z. And this means that 2 of x squared y z will be greater than or equal to y squared z squared. And from here, we will know that x square, y square plus z square plus 2yz will be greater than or equal to x square, y square plus y square, z square plus z square, x square. When you expand this, we have x square and y square, and we have x squared z squared that is here and finally 2x squared yz is greater than or equal to y squared z squared this is what we have and this is what we let it as j now it means that j will be less than or equal to x squared times this and this itself is actually equal to y plus z squared okay then, this itself is x, y plus z, the whole thing square. Using m-gen inequality, 
x, y plus z will be less than or equal to x plus y plus z over 2. Then the whole thing, power 2, but because there is a 2 here, there is a power 4. Now we know that the sum of x, y, z is equal to 1, so this is equal to 1 over 2 to the power of 4. Again, in this case, we we'll prove that j is not more than 1 over 2 to the power of 4. Equality holds if and only if, in this case, x has to be equal to y plus z. And since x plus y plus z is equal to 1, then this must be equal to a half. And from here, equality holds only if z is equal to 0. So we have two conditions, x equals to half and z equals to 0. So this means that x, y, z is actually equals to half, half, and 0. If we let x is greater equals to y greater than equals to z, greater than equals to 0. Since j itself is symmetrical, then we can actually obtain the maximum value when any x, y, or z equals to 0, and the other two of them are equal to half. The main purpose of sharing this problem is to emphasize that the maximum or minimum value not always occurs when x equals y equals z. As usual, I prepared one similar question for you to try. And with no surprise, the maximum, again, is not occurs when x equals y equals z. You may want to try on your own and check the answer in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. That's all for today's lesson. I'll see you again. Bye.